Hello, welcome and good evening. And today I have this nice little kit here. It's extremely nondescript, but it is actually a kit for a MK328 component tester. So maybe you remember I reviewed this thing this year. Um, it's the same thing without a case, obviously. There are dozens of different kits and ready-made things. I bought this one because it was still pretty cheap from China um, and it has got a case which makes it very useful but if you want to solder them yourself have a little bit of fun and maybe print your own case or something I think these kits are also very nice. I have no idea how much this is but uh, I got it as a present so yeah we will try to assemble it I don't know if there's any kind of like manual there. Maybe we have to Google some stuff. I'm not sure if they labeled all the components so that we can see it. Yeah, but let's take a look what's inside. And yeah, maybe one thing first. Uh, if you don't know what these component testers do, basically you can take any old component from like PCB or that you have lying around because you don't know what value the resistors we want to check or what value the capacitors you plug them in here or you have test leads or test pads basically three leads are supported for transistors or similar stuff and then you press the test button the thing will power on will self check and then it will measure and says here and this is a capacitor with 91 microfarads uh, v loss is 0.8% and the equivalent series resistance is 0.41 ohms. Yeah, so this seems to be a nice 100 microfarad capacitor, and this should be well within the 10 or 20% accuracy for this thing here. They work reasonably well, um, quite nice devices, especially since they also can test the ESR. And I think they are, for, for amateurs at least, accurate enough. So yeah, let's let's take a look inside here. Can I open it with our tools? No, probably not. Let's see if the snips will help. And let's carefully pour it out. Uh, we don't need this anymore, I think. Okay, so this is the board. Let's have a closer look. Okay, all the components are labeled. That's nice. And it's also good that we have the component tester, the other one, so that we don't have to read the color codes. We just can measure. And there's even three tiny little um, SMD components. Yeah. Why ever those are on there? Um, other than that, everything is through hole. These are the test pads. Nothing here. Probably goes the socket. There goes the 80 mega microcontroller. Power supply, I guess. Probably. Yeah, here maybe as well. The micro USB socket or something. I don't know. This is ground and whatever. Yeah, let's see, I have no clue. Let's see. Hopefully the 80 mega is already programmed, otherwise you will have to improvise. Um, yeah, there goes the crystal, bunch of capacitors, all the different um, resistors, something else here, some transistors over there. Now this looks pretty straightforward, I would say. Nice red PCB. A um, little bit iffy around the sides. But uh, is, is that a big ground plane there? No, it is not. It's basically no ground plane at all. in there looked just like, a bit like it because I see some silver shimmering in there. Yeah, it says transistor tester. So that's it. Okay. So here are, I think we start with these, there's the resistors in there, we'll start with those low profile thingies, there's a socket for testing, 
And here's all the other bunch. Uh, even... Ah, oh, okay, nice standoffs and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's get going. The deed is done. I have some uh, standoffs and screws left, but I guess those are for when you put it into a case. Uh, this was rather straightforward. The screen is mounted on these standoffs, and you had to solder this connector as well. I put the female part on the on the screen and the male part on the board, but I don't think it matters much. Below the screen is the 80 mega, and yeah, it was mostly pretty simple, but finicky because there's a lot of components there. I'm not sure what these are for. This is probably also for powering this thing, V and ground. Probably in this, I don't know, clock signal? I have no idea. Um, yeah, this is a nice little encoder probably for getting through the menus. And this is a, a center positive barrel jack. You can test this with the continuity mode of your multimeter. And let's power it up. Let's see if it works at all or if we get smoke. Fingers crossed. Well, we have an LED. We have some weirdness here. Not sure what this is about. Uh, doesn't look too promising, right? Ah, oh, this is this is on only on the screen protector. That's good. However, we don't get anything. Let's put in some capacitor. But nothing happens. And that's too bad. Hmm. So there's probably a couple of things that could have gone wrong. We have the light. That's nice. This looks more or less like the 80 mega doesn't do anything. Well, that will have to be debugged. Okay, well, I checked all the solder joints, checked the components, and I couldn't find any problem. So I googled a bit, and it seems that these very cheap, or rather cheap-ish, kits sometimes have wonky displays. And look at this, I put an LED in here. Um, note here that it's on pads one and two. Now I press the button, display turns on, LED turns on, and the LED here also flickered for a second. I think I can repeat it, yeah, here. Which shows that the microcontroller is working and it's testing the component. However, and it's even turning off correctly. However, nothing comes into the display. So I also checked the solder joints here and at the bottom, but looks fine, I would say. The only thing that comes to mind is that this does not look like a good solder job. I think the display is broken. I mean, I'm not good at SMD soldering, but even I can tell that this does not look good. So my assumption is that the display is simply broken. Um, yeah, I may be able to get a replacement display for this. Not sure, actually. 
um, but I might try. So I think this is pretty generic one. Uh, anyway, for today it won't help. Um, so without a display, this thing is obviously pretty useless, right? I mean, we got the 80 mega. We can salvage that if we want to. But um, other than that, we probably need a replacement for this. And good luck getting this on warranty from China or something that is impossible to do. Yeah, so all in all, I would say that this ready-made thing is definitely worth its money. This year was fun to solder, but the problem is, yeah, that <laughs> things that you don't solder yourself and from a cheap supplier can be crappy. And I think that's what we have here. So we learned something. Um, this thing might be salvageable if I find the correct um, display. Yeah, so hope you're not too disappointed. There was no smoke, there was light, but not nothing would function. Yeah, please share, like and subscribe if you are still hanging around for this stuff. And at least one positive thing happened today uh, concerning this channel. We crossed the barrier of 100 subscribers. There's no reward for that other than I thank you very much for being that loyal. And let's take on the next 100, shall we? So thank you and good night. <laughs>